Bill, we're here again. Automation, automation, automation. That's, that's I'm gonna the do name it. of the game over here at RW. It really is. And everywhere I look, it's you know machines from uh, the 80s, the 90s, right. the new ones. Everything's getting automated, Correct. and there are parts everywhere. So what is happening behind us? Great, yeah, so what's happening behind us is a rack roller putting splines on parts. Um, there's a robot that is feeding off of the conveyor uh, into this rack roller. Um, it not only feeds it, it also takes the parts out of here. Prior to putting this robot in, I would have a person standing and feeding the part one at a time, taking the part off one at a time. You can imagine a pretty monotonous job. Well, they would get bored and days off, lose productivity, or they might forget that they ran one and recycle the same one through. Oh. Now I got a quality problem because I have 100,000 parts I ran and I got to sort them to look for which one had a double roll on it. So, you know, that was just some of the things that we looked at when we talked about automation. Not, not just that, but then a labor perspective. So if I have four of these in my plant, I need four people per shift, three shifts, right? That's 12 people to run this. Now I need one person per shift three shifts, I need three people. So large labor savings as well when it comes down to it. But when we implemented the robots, I got increased productivity. I usually see about 30% productivity increase and we saw it here. And then the other piece was um, we eliminated like our double rolls and stuff because the robot only will unload and load. It doesn't forget to unload something. So it's always doing what it's supposed to do on there. Um, we, we put other features into this to make sure that because we have one person running four different robots, they're running four different parts usually, so there's a chance they could put the wrong part on here or put a part in backwards. So we have a pokey oak system on here that knows what it's supposed to be running, takes a picture of the part, verifies it's in right, and verifies it's the right part. So they can't accidentally load the wrong part on there. So a lot of cool options with this. Very cool options. A couple of things pop into my mind. I didn't want to interrupt you because you were Sorry, I was on a You were really, I get that way. Great, no, it was amazing. And I, I know the audience loves that as well. Firstly was, I was bored just thinking about loading it and unloading it every single day. And second, when you talk about the system that allows it to go in the right way, what happened to the machine when it goes in backwards? Um, when you load a part backwards, depending on that part, it will actually destroy all the tooling. And, and that could be a $10,000 problem. And it could be, we, we have some extra tooling here, but the tooling takes weeks to turn around and it'll be down for a day as they're trying to get the new tooling in and reset stuff because slides could be off and everything. So it, it, it could be a really big problem when it's loaded backwards. So if I'm in on a Monday or a Friday or I'm bored like we already said, and I pop one of those in backwards, not only am I reducing my quality, which you've already mentioned went yep. way up, I'm also destroying potentially $10,000 worth of tools and shutting Correct. down the machine for potentially a day. Correct. Are you guys hearing this? <laughs> Are you kidding me? How important is this automation? I mean, we go into the stuff of like, I don't take a break. It doesn't have a cigarette. It doesn't use a bat. We do that Correct. stuff and it's humorous, it's, it's, right? It it's is fun. humorous, yeah. But at the same time, potentially thousands of dollars of broken Correct. tools downtime and it's and it's human error too so it's not like someone's intentionally wanting no, to do that not. it's human error i mean if you spend eight hours sitting looking at the same thing day in and day out and you do it that monotony will get to you after a while and you'll just accidentally make that happen right. so the robot likes so monotony. here comes automation yeah and they like monotony <laughs> and the last thing that you did mention but i just want to bring it up one more time before sure. we close this out is that you said one person per machine now we got one person this awesome guy right behind us yes. running four machines at the same yes, time Thomas is my the friend man. do you like what you're doing i do i do i do Just gotta keep busy at it it's a good day <laughs> it's a good day every day is a good day thank you all for watching mtd cnc this is what automation can do for you this is rw screw if you're looking to get work done what a great facility give my buddy bill a call they're always looking to bring in more opportunities because yes. well automation's everywhere and they've got the time yes thank you tony absolutely